What is this today? This is the Saving Some Alive. We call ourselves a movement because after the recent episodes of gun violence, it was a wake up call for so many of our citizens who honestly hadn't witnessed it before. And we want our community to know that not only do we apologize for not stepping up sooner, we're acting now. We're going to demand change and we are going to fill these council chambers until change is enacted. So, um, we're asking that the city council find more funds for our Selma Police Department. If we do not have the funds, we want to ask for their transparency so they can explain to us so everyone can be understanding of where our funds go. Um, there's no question that way we can work towards fundraising, but we need well-trained and well-compensated police. Um, and that's what we're asking for. So what um, what prompted um, what has prompted this? What, you know? Well, last week my family and I were at a gas station near Winnipeg, and as we're driving off, I saw a young man laying on the ground covered in blood. My two-year-old daughter was in the back seat of the car. My husband was driving. My little brother was in the car, and I had never witnessed no. gun violence in, in my reality. You know, I've heard about it in the newspaper. I've seen it on the news. I always said, I'm praying for some. We got to do something different. But seeing it myself opened my eyes to the fact that that nightmare I was in right then was the reality for so many of our citizens. It made me feel ashamed because I hadn't done anything before. And to all our grieving mothers and family members on both sides of the gun, we want to do something now. You know, that's that's the that's the message. It's we're gonna demand that something be done so this does not continue. Our children are our future. Our children's lives should come before any project that the city has. And you know, we wanna do anything to make sure that they are guaranteed a safe community. It looks like you have a pretty good turnout. I think we're doing okay for the rain, and I hope it gets bigger. This started last Thursday. As of Sunday, we had 1,200 members on Facebook, 1,200 concerned citizens who have pledged to act in some way. And, you know, like, if we can keep that momentum going, a lot of problem in some is we have outrage for days, and then we forget about it in a few days. Well, this movement is going to make sure that we don't forget. There's been too many lives lost. It's a matter of if we have to scream and yell it from the rooftops, we will. At the same time, we're not laying the blame on any city government, any organization. We all are accountable for the state of our city. I personally am here not to yell at the um, city council. I'm here just to let them know that, hey, I'm here to support you. I'm here because I want to know what's going on, and I'm here because I'm sure we all have the same goal of a safe zone. What is your name? Ashley Sparks Colbert. And you guys had a meeting at uh, Church Street United Methodist Church. Did. How did that go? It went well. We had a great turnout for it to be such a spur of the moment, moment meeting. We released the meeting time on Friday, and we had a full house on Sunday. At that meeting, it was people from all over the county, not from one ward, not from one area. The entire county, we had people come in, and instead of just yelling about our problems, we asked each person for a solution. The general consensus among every person Person. Every person in attendance asked us to ask the Selma City Council for more funding for our police department. So if all the citizens from all these different walks of life can agree that we need more police, I feel like we should do anything by any means to make that happen. And what are you so what are you hoping will be accomplished tonight? Tonight is more of a presence needs to be felt. Um, like I said, we want them to know this isn't a bash the city council group. This is a please ask us for help. Please tell us what's going on so we can support you. It's a team effort. It's not just this organization. It's about partnering with organizations who have been doing the same thing for years and making sure that they're heard and that we can all just unite as a community to get things done. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you.